Well, you're not going to win a race if you can't get your fuel flowing right. The folks at Kinsler have been running the tough pump for years, and it's been very successful. Friend here, Greg Murchison, is the general manager at Kinsler. Tough pump's been around, Greg. What's different about it now as you've evolved it? Um, there's a lot of technology that we've applied into this component. The first thing is the amount of teeth on the gears. It gives us a smoother, mean output, meaning we get the same amount of flow, but the pressure pulses, uh, stabilizes the bypass valves so they don't act as erratic, and that also works well in an e even in an EFI system. Well, I want my components to last. How can you guarantee me this one's going to last longer? It's, it's the age-old thing, quality and precision measurement. We go through a very extensive uh, system of measuring and manufacturing. This is a true mil-spec hard coat. Everything is measured from the housing bores to the gears to the flatness of the plates. They're within a, a tenth of a thousandth flatness and trueness. Tell me about the pressure plate balance. The pressure, balance, uh, pressure plate balance system is very unique. What it does is it uses the outlet pressure of the pump to bring the plates up to the gears so that we can maintain a very, very tight tolerance so we can keep uh, the output at higher pressures. A one-piece gear shaft is more expensive, but that's what you do, why? Uh, the main reason there is so we can hold those tolerances that I mentioned earlier. In other words, when you have a, a gear that slides onto a shaft, there's an actually an amount of clearance. So when the pump pressurizes, those gears would move away from each other. So we took that radial movement out by making the gear actually part of the shaft. So it's the one-piece gear shaft design. And why are there so many threaded studs? Um, we're, we're teased about that periodically. Um, we're not just holding the front cover on. In other words, the O-ring would seal the cover, but part of the structure of the pump is to uh, give the housing rigidity. When we did our development work, you would pressurize the housing uh, on other brands, and we found that those housings would actually distort. So if you look at anything that's a high pressure system, like steam pipes and that, a lot of studs helps hold the thing in a rigid form. I see you have an upgraded version with a universal drive. How come? Um, the universal drive, in other words, everyone's been used to the uh, standard 3.8 hex, like you see here. Um, what we did with the universal drive is that gives us some lateral rotational, uh, so if there's any misalignment, uh, in other words, this on most sprint cars in particular, slides into the back of the power steering pump, well, if their hex isn't quite on center or their flange isn't quite to tolerance, this gives us some, some movement, right, like a, like a drive shaft coupler, if you will, uh, so that we, take, we don't have that load exerted up onto the main shaft of the fuel pump. Craig, if people want to learn more about what's going on at Kinsler and the new Tough Pump version, where do they go? Uh, we recommend you you can go to our website, kinsler.com, uh, or of course, we're always available by, by the old style phone uh, at 248-362-1145. He actually knew the phone number, man. You might be the first person I've heard regurgitate a phone number in years. And that's why the guys at Kinsler are so good. They are on top of their game, just like the Tough Pump.